Dragon Silk, Dark, Big Body, High Alcohol, Malty, Hoppy, Bourbon, Oak, Fantastic. Hi, I'm Brad. Welcome back to another edition of Behind the Brew. This is a recipe we've had around for a little while. Turns out this is one of our best sellers, and this one does boast the largest grain bill we have in any all grain kit. So we are looking at the Dragon Silk Imperial Stout that is aged on bourbon and oak. Before we hit the brew cave and take a quick look at this recipe, if you really want to go down the rabbit hole of an Imperial Stout, check out our Northern Brewer University class on Imperial Stouts. We cover everything, we talk to multiple brewers, tips, tricks, everything to make sure you get the best beer possible. So when you find that big bag of grain arrive on your doorstep, what you're gonna find is 16 and a half pounds of American two row, which is already a lot for a five gallon batch. On top of that, you're gonna get a half pound each of caramel 120 and caramel 60. That's gonna give you the whole range of caramel flavors from slightly sweet all the way down to raisin and fig and everything in between. You're also gonna get equal proportions of chocolate malt and American black malt, which is gonna give you the chocolate flavor, it's gonna give you the roast, and also it's gonna give you that deep, dark, pitch black color. And if that weren't enough, we also stuffed two pounds of Munich malt in there. That's gonna give you a little bit more toastiness, a little bit of bread crust type flavors to it, really round out that flavor profile, make it much more rich and complex. And one pound of flake barley is also gonna get you a nice silky smooth mouthfeel, easy to sip on, delicious, great on the palate. For hops, we've got Nugget. That's gonna give you the bitterness for this kit. We're shooting for about 30 to 35 IBU. That's gonna go in right at the beginning of the boil. And an addition of Glacier hops at 15 minutes remaining is gonna give you a little bit more IBU, but what it really does is give a little hop flavor to the beer, which is gonna be spicy, slightly floral, a little bit earthy, and kind of herbal. Since this is such a big beer, its original gravity does come in at 1096. Even though this does come with two packs of yeast, we do recommend making a starter for best results. As well as that, make sure you oxygenate this wort really well to give the yeast absolutely everything they need to make a delicious beer. And then when we get all these things together, we're gonna pitch American yeast at it, the Chico strain. So that is the Omega OYL 106 West Coast AL1, the Imperial A07 flagship Y Yeast 1056 American Ale, or the old standby US05 by Fermentus. So the Chico strain provides a relatively neutral flavor profile with just very slight esters if you do ferment it warm, but it also attenuates well. So that means the beer is gonna dry out and not be cloyingly sweet when the finished product is ready. Bada bing, bada boom, we ferment it all out. And then what really sets this recipe apart in the Imperial Stout world is that it is aged on bourbon soaked oak cubes. This is gonna mimic going into a used bourbon barrel You'll see a lot of breweries offer a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, and this is our version. Instead of a whole barrel, we get around that by using some oak cubes that we soak in bourbon, add it directly to the beer before packaging. And the magical combination of all these ingredients gets you this. It's a jet black ale, really heavy body, really high alcohol, super flavorful, very malty, only moderately bitter, but then you get that little wash over on the end of the flavor profile of that bourbon barrel type flavor with the oak and the bourbon. And give this one some age as well. That's important to getting all these flavor profiles to really work well with each other. A few weeks in the carboy will do wonders to get the oak and the bourbon flavors in, but letting it sit around either in bottles or in the keg for an extended period of time will reward you with a really cohesive beer that's really well melded together. All the flavors play perfectly with each other. So Dragon Silk Imperial Stout, you can find this in both all grain and extract versions on northernbrewer.com. If you like what we're doing and you wanna see what we're coming up with, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others so they can see what we're doing and always have fun brewing these kits.